pictures. It's a constant reminder to think of the improbable and to prepare for it. So, let's hear it from the men in charge. Getting IFA 2019 underway. Here's Richard Yu, the chief executive of Viobe Consumer Business Group. The stage is yours, Richard. Thank you, Jens. Thank you. Thank you for giving Huawei the opportunity. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So big player back to Berlin again, and every year we're here in IFA, and we launched a new product. Today, I will bring the, today I will bring the two uh, new chipsets and the three products here. To be launch, we launched it here. Do you remember that uh, two years ago in IFA, we launched the Huawei the Qin 970 chipset. That's the first uh, uh, smartphone, flagship smartphone uh, chips which have the AI processor inside. We're introducing the NPU, the neural network process, in the smartphone uh, chipset, the Qin 970. And the last year here in Yifa, we launched Qin uh, 980. It's the first smartphone uh, premium high-end chipset which have the dual AI processor, dual NPU inside. We are leading the mobile uh, AI in the world. You know, that I remember that time that when we launched the smartphone, which have AI processor inside. Many people ask me, including many media, they ask me, how can you use the AI? What's the, what's the usage? Uh, so two years passed. Can you see there's more and more apps they are using AI, and including the mobile photography, including the many, many things, including the the traveling, the online shopping, education, the creation, the, the art creation, many, many things. More and more apps, they are using AI. And you see that uh, last two years, uh, just on Huawei uh, flagship uh, smartphone, the AI API was accessed over 1.6 trillion times. Can you imagine that's so rapid growth? Every year, every month, every day, it's increasing rapidly. So the, today, if you um, design an uh, app app that you are not using AI you know, the functionality, that will be the <laughs> it will dramatically influence your performance. So AI can do more and more things. The AI. You know that's uh, two years ago when we launched the Kevin 970 here in IFA, we bring the idea of a mobile AI. That time is a mobile AI, we call it 1.0. That's the on-device AI and the cloud AI together. Today, you know, the 5G is coming. Today with 5G, I'm sorry, I'll back to you. Today on the 5G, with 5G and we upgrade our mobile AI to 2.0. And what's the mobile AI 2.0? You know the mobile AI 1.0, that's uh, we have the real-time on-device AI processing. But with the 4G, the limited speed and the limited la latency, so we only have semi-real-time on-cloud in inference, on-cloud AI processing. So, but today, on the AI 2.0 with 5G, the 5G have much uh, faster speed, much lower latency, so we can achieve real-time on-cloud AI processing also. So the real-time on-device AI and uh, on-cloud uh, on AI together, so we bring to the mobile AI 2.0. <coughs> you know, uh, last year we launched the first 5G modem, the single mode, uh, mode modem, the 5G01. Uh, that's the last year. But uh, in the beginning of this year, we launched the first uh, multi mode modem, the Balloon 5000, in the beginning of this year. But uh, today, I bring the new, new solution. Oh, yeah. Today, you know, today the, the industry, you know, if you see the, the country we are using, that's the, the 
4G SOC model uh, chips together with a 5G modem together. You combine together the solution. If you're the industry, the other vendors are all using this. But the Huawei, the product we already launched is a KV980 together with the Balloon 5000. We can support the multi mode, multi mode, the NSA and the SA architecture both. Today, the other solutions only can support the NSA architecture. What's the NSA? It's a non standalone architecture. In the 5G, uh, the beginning, in the beginning, the rollout, the network is using the NSA architecture. But the 5G future should be ASA architecture, the standalone architecture. But we're proud of the Balloon 5000 together with the KV980. That's we can support the multi multi mode, not only multi mode but also dual architecture. The currently SA, NSA architecture for 5G, but also the futures SA architecture. I that's uh, this is the best 5G solution today, not up to now. But today I bring the new one, the new generation. It's the uh, world first 5G SOC, the revolution in the 5G SOC. In the here is a Kirin 990. It's a so small, tiny size. It's smaller than my nail size. But can you believe that how many transistors on it? Over 10 billion transistors on it. 10.3 billion, billion transistors on it. It's the world first. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's the world most powerful. 5G SOC chipset. Uh, it's inside this have an octa core CPU, the 16 core powerful GPU inside, and also the most advanced ISP, and also the most advanced AI processor inside. But more in, importantly, it's the world the most powerful 5G modem inside this. It is about both SA and NSA architecture. We bring a revolutionary leap in 5G and AI. The Kiwi 990 5G, you know, we bring the best performance on 5G, AI, and the performance. Let's first look at 5G. You know, today the 5G, uh, the company A, their 5G is not available yet, right? <laughs> this year at least. And then the other companies, their solution is a 4G SOC plus 5G modem. You know, that some companies they announced some uh, 5G SOC modem. Uh, SOG, SOC chips, but actually it's uh, PPT uh, uh, chips. It's not uh, available yet, at least in this year. Maybe they are only for the next year. But we, today these chips is already commercialized. So currently the solution is uh, the 4G SOC and uh, 5G modem together. But the uh, 90 5G is the first all-in-one 5G chipset. We call SOC system on chip. It's using the world most advanced seven nanometer thin fat plus EUV. Uh, this is the latest uh, semiconductor technology. You see that compared with the others, you can see the, the, the first and also the only uh, flagship 5G SOC all in one. And also by the only one chip solution, Compared with the other two chips together, so we saving more PCB board space, making more size, more compact. The board area say can sell can be 36 uh, percent smaller. They can leave more space for you to install more large battery for your smartphone, or make your phone more compact. <coughs> and on this chipset, over over 10 billion transistors on it. Oh, this. The screen not work. Okay. 10.3 uh, billion transistor on it. Do you remember last year uh, on the Kirin 980, it had 6.9 billion transistor on that Kirin 980. But uh, today, on the uh, Kirin 990 5G, we have uh, over 10 billion transistor on it. And also with uh, 5G, you can achieve the lightning, super fast 5G speed. On the new radio, NR, uh, the new radio uh, download, maximum can achieve 2.3 uh, gigabit per second. How fast it is? Let's see that on the China Mobile's real network, real network test, 
on your commercial network you can reach the more than 1.7 gigabit per second see that how fast it is you will download uh, near 2 gig gigabyte uh, uh, the video uh, the apps you can see that in just uh, several seconds they're doing that it's mu much faster than the the, the the 4g and also music download you can see how fast the sudden uh, immediately you download a uh, hd uh, movie it's just uh, several seconds you can download that it's unbelievable speed it's really super fast I know today the challenge for 5G uh, uh, f is uh, firstly I think it will be the weak signal. Why the weak signal? Because in the beginning the limited radio base station size, the limited coverage, uh, and also the 5G is running more, um, more higher frequency. So the indoor penetration also the, also the issues. So you always meet the weak signal in the beginning of the 5G rollout, and also the power consumption issue for the 5G. And also speed, uh, especially on high speed moving, how can you guarantee the still have 5G, uh, super fast speed 5G? So how can we solve these kind of issues? We bring our solution, the smart uplink speed to conquer the weak signal. If, we, if you are in the weak 5G signal area, you have a good 5, 4G connection, you can combine these two together. So combine the 4G and the 5G uplink, we can achieve some time in some area we can achieve 5.8 times faster speed in a weak 5G single area. And also we have the to save the energy. Sometimes you don't need so fast speed you tra transmit. But we but we introducing the BWP, the bandwidth part. Well, with the bandwidth part on, you don't need so large bandwidth, and you can network with then you can save in the power consumption. You can see that uh, with the um, BWP on, bandwidth part on, you can save in 15% of the power consumption. Compared with the other chips, uh, chipset, we can save in 44% less um, power consumption. So less power consumption is very critical for 5G. So we have the solution for this to save the energy. If you're in a full speed of the 5G, we still can achieve the 20% better efficiency. You can see the com uh, comparison. With other modem, other solution, you can see that 20% less power consumption with a full speed running. And also we have the, for the fast moving, when you know, in a fast speed car or, tr or railway, uh, uh, over even over 120 km per hour, the fast speed, we still can achieve high speed by our new technology, by our additional beam forming gain technology. Machine learning uh, based on the uh, channel model, uh, it's an uh, advanced adaptive receiver to secure the 5G speed on high uh, speed move. And also, this, uh, this chipset, the QV990, we support the advanced dual SIM card. We not only support the dual SIM card, the dual voltage, but uh, it's a when one phone is making phone call, another SIM card can accept, uh, can receive the what uh, phone call coming. Also, we can support one SIM card either in a what uh, phone call, another SIM card we can s using the 5G date simultaneously. The other phone, uh, other chipset, they cannot support this. So this brings uh, us the leading performance on dual SIM card. And also, the more importantly, this uh, KV990 5G is not designed not only for today, the 5G, but also for future. The future of the 5G network should be SA architecture, standalone architecture. Stand SA architecture have better performance, lower latency, so we support this uh, chipset not only for today, but also for future. <laughs> you know, today, the 5G, uh, we not only the key, key United, not only bring the best 5G, but also bring the best AI. You will see that uh, from the last gen in every generation, we are leading the AI performance. You can see on Kiwi 970, the two years ago, up to last year, Kiwi 980, we are all leading the 
AI performance today on the Q995 G. We have over three times higher AI performance compared with the industry, the other vendors. They are leading on AI performance. If you see the last two years, ourselves, we have 12 times AI performance enhancement in the last two years. You know, that's a, we, are not, we not only provide the best, the, the most powerful AI processing capability, but also bring the best e energy efficiency. If you see that uh, on the, the mobile, uh, mobile net is a uh, uh, light mode, the light mode uh, comparison, and uh, our performance is much better than the others. But even in the, on the heavy load, we also our performance, the uh, ResNet 50, the a heavy, heavy, uh, heavy load model, you will still have much better performance. But more importantly, the energy efficiency, no matter in light mode or heavy mode, we all achieved much stronger uh, energy efficiency, even up to eight times more uh, better efficiency. I think the, the energy efficiency is uh, the key, is more important, because of phones, the power efficiency always uh, uh, Phones battery life is always the biggest issue. <clears throat> and more importantly, you know, if you the let the apps using the fully using AI capability, they need more AI operator support. We support over 300 AI operators, but the other only can support 100 level, so three times higher. With more AI operators, you can let the apps fully use the AI capability. And also, we can support a multi standard of AI. The high AI is a Huawei AI standard, AI platform. But we also support the Facebook TensorFlow AI platform. And in the same time, we also support the Google's Android N AI platform. So we can support the multi uh, platform on AI. You know, that this time we're also introducing a very innovative. Uh, the new architecture for the AI processing. Uh, we call it the big, tiny uh, core, uh, combination architecture. But inside this is a big, uh, the big core. We are using the new generation, the first, what the world first Da Vinci uh, architecture, the most powerful AI processor in, in this world. Uh, by this, the big and the tiny uh, combination, and it will bring the high performance but also low power consumption. How can we achieve that? So we give an example that like, like a, a truck using the, the big truck to take the, the heavy load, uh, the goods. But uh, you only have big truck, you will take small goods, you also need the, you need the big truck, the, the big waste, so, and more consumption. But our solution like this, the big car for the big, uh, big traffic, uh, for, the big, for the big goods like the truck, and the small one, we're using a small truck. So we can achieve the best performing, lower power consumption, lower consumption. So we achieve the best efficiency. So by this technology, I give you an example for the, using the AI for the, uh, for the face detection, for example, we can achieve the 24 times better efficiency, energy efficiency, compared with the others. By this big, and big core and little core together become a tiny car together. So really high efficiency. You know that's uh, on the Q980, the AI processor, we can support a single, a single instance segmentation. But today, on this Q980, uh, 990, we can support multi-instance segmentation. Let's see how it works. You can see on this video that uh, we can 
a group of people together. We can ch change the background, the real time change the, the video uh, the background. And also we can, can move some people away or even can enlarge some people to make this group the AI the real time processing. So this shows how strong AI processing power on these uh, chips. <coughs> you know, this Q90, uh, 990 5G will not only bring the best 5G and uh, AI, also have the best performance. Let's see inside this. And then we have octa core CPU, but with the leading architecture. We call it the big, middle, and the little architecture. Big, big, middle, and little. Two big core for high performance. Two middle core for medium uh, performance, also for low power consumption. And four little core for actually low power consumption. This combination, you can see that with the big core, the performance improved uh, compared with the industry's other uh, chips. So around 10% better performance, and also around near 10% of the energy efficiency for the multi, uh, uh, for, the, for the performance, or multi-core performance. But uh, more importantly, you know, the power efficiency is the key. Today, you know, the CPU, the performance, even more than the, the smartphones needed. But the more important is the energy efficiency. The energy efficiency, you know, you see on the middle curve, we can achieve the near 35% improvement. That's a lot. And uh, no matter in big core and the little core and the middle core, we all achieve the better energy efficiency. By this combination uh, together, we can always have the best energy efficiency. I think that's the most important than the CPU, the performance itself. The energy efficiency is the key. Today, on the Q990, uh, uh, 5G, we upgrade the, our GPU core from the 10 core to 16 core. Uh, yesterday, uh, the day before yesterday, I uh, see the news. Some wonder they launched the, the new uh, the PPT uh, um, 5G modem. Uh, 5G modem. They are using their core is just the five GP, uh, GPU core, but uh, we have 16, more than three times. Uh, the, so, so we have achieved the best performance because the GPU is very important for today's mobile gaming. Many people, they are using the mobile phones and mobile gaming. But I think that the, the GPU, the, the graphical processing, uh, the most important is not just the performance, but also more importantly, the energy efficiency, the power efficiency. So we, we achieved over 20% better energy efficiency compared with the industry, the others. The graphic uh, processing, you can see it's 20% better on this. <coughs> and also, we're introducing smart cache uh, between the CPU, GPU, and the NPU, the L2, L3 cache with the DDR. So with this, so we can save 15% uh, the bandwidth. But also, power consumption can achieve the 20% lower. <coughs> now, this is uh, the mobile gaming. The very popular game uh, is uh, yeah, so you can see that we achieve the high free, uh, frame rate, uh, but also much lower power consumption. The red, the red character you can see that the power consumption is lower. So uh, you you can play the game more smoothly, but the power consumption is much lower than the others. You can see the you can read the the red uh, character. <coughs> You know, that's where in this chipset, we're also introducing the fifth generation the ISP, the imaging signal processor. The imaging processor is mainly for the photo and the video. Uh, you know, that's uh, for you taking photo in a low light uh, condition and take a video in a low light condition. We can achieve the, the imaging noise reduction uh, over 30% reduction. And uh, you will take the video, the video noise reduction also over 20% reduction on the so it's very, very important. <coughs> I assure you that in, on these chips, we're introducing the world's first BM3D. What's BM3D? It's a professional DSLR, DSLR camera. They are using the imaging noise reduction uh, technologies. Now we move to the Q990. You can see that uh, compared with the last generation, in the low light of photography, you can see the, this uh, wall ball. The, the fiber, uh, the detail, you can see that very clearly. 
in a very low light uh, environment, you take a photo from it. And also, in a low light, in the video we're taking, you can see the noise. Compared with the last generation, you can see it's uh, much less noise, the video noise. You know, with this powerful ISP capability and also powerful AI capability, we can do a lot of things. Like these girls, we use the camera to see this girl's face. We can recognize her real-time heartbeat and also her birth, birth rate, heartbeat rate and birth rate. You can read that from the camera. It's unbelievable <laughs> because they're so, so strong processing power. You let the phone's camera see this, this girl, the heartbeat, but, uh, heartbeat rate, you can see that. <laughs> Health they are can also recognize your Even best, best rate. And more. So you can see this. <laughs> we in this video just to show our strong capability of the processor. That makes something unbelievable things. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, this uh, QV990 uh, 5G, uh, we also bring the 4G version for these chips. Uh, the main difference is this, uh, the modem. Uh, they only, the, the, this is about 5G, another uh, only about 2G, 3G, and 4G. And uh, one is using a seven nanometer, another is using a seven nanometer uh, FinFET Plus EUV. And uh, the NPU core, the two B core and the one B core, but uh, the NPU AI processor is uh, have uh, the leading uh, performance already. That's the QV990 and QV990 5G. We have two for for selection. <coughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, the QV990 uh, 5G is the world's most powerful uh, flagship 5G SoC. It's the it's the world's first 5G SoC you can support. Do architecture, NSA and SA architecture have the most powerful uh, leading semiconductor technology, seven nanometer thin fat plus EUV, and also have the most powerful the GPU core, 16 core uh, Mali G76 GPU inside, and also the most powerful the big tiny uh, combination architecture NPU AI processor inside, and also the most powerful ISP uh, inside. And no matter, no matter on, you can hear the uh, comparison uh, with others. No matter on the 5G, on AI, on the dual SIM, SIM card capability, on, on the NPU, uh, GPU, and all, all of that, um, you can see all the benchmark we are leading the best, the best performing, the best performing the uh, SOC chipset. <coughs> so QV95G uh, leading the industry 5G, AI, and the performance. You know, that's we will uh, launch our Mate uh, 30 uh, series smartphone in two weeks later in, uh, in Munich, in the 16th uh, of this month. And uh, this uh, flagship phone will, will embed the, the, this QV990, QV990 and QV990 5G. So uh, welcome you to join this uh, launch event in Munich. Thank you. <laughs> Today, we are living in a connected world. Uh, we are connected uh, by the smartphone, but also by the wearable devices, by the earpieces. You know, today we, I also want to bring some uh, new chips, our new chips for connecting, uh, for high value connecting people. And uh, you, you can using these chips for in the earpieces, your Bluetooth earpieces, in a smart watch, or even smart wear. Uh, so this is a, uh, 
our Kiwin A1. The Kiwin A1 is the world's first Bluetooth 5.1 and a Bluetooth low energy 5.1 supported variable chips. Inside this, we have the processor, app processor, and the Bluetooth connection, the sensor, sensor hub, all this uh, technology, and the power management, all this inside this. And this chip is very small, very tiny. It's most, much smaller than this one, than this is a Kirin 990. It's too small <laughs> to take. It's a very small and a tiny size. It put, can put in the earpieces, occupy less space. <clears throat> and um, we are leading in the performance and technology. You can see that so we are using a very innovative ISO Kronos dual channel Bluetooth connection technology. You see the industry, the other, other chips, uh, they are using the one earpieces to the first relay. That means um, longer uh, latency, more latency, but uh, more higher power consumption. Uh, the Apple's, their, their, their solution is using uh, simultaneously to left and right to transmit do, do uh, left and right chan channel. For, but it's uh, less power, less latency, but it's uh, more higher power consumption. Our solution, you can see that's Left and right uh, transmission simultaneously, but if you are only left and right, so less power consumption, lower latency. So you have the best performing and a low latency, low power consumption. And you see that these chips also have the industry leading performance of anti interference. In half hour, especially in the public area, a lot of interference. I give, make, make a comparison with others. In th uh, half hour, the, the other chips uh, limit uh, 100 in the forest. And, uh, and uh, we, keeping A1, only have two. So much less than the others. Uh, Apple's, their H1 chips also have good performance. The Apple II uh, they're using, so also less, uh, less in the forest. So we, are, we have the industry leading level uh, anti interference. interference. And also, we, ha we, are, we are the industry the fastest Bluetooth transmission speed we can achieve. Three times faster speed uh, than the others. You can achieve the 6.5 megabit per second real time transmit speed. <laughs> and in this way, you can support the ultra high definition audio for better, uh, better sound. And we can achieve the 2.3 megabit per second Bluetooth UHD speed. And uh, using these chips, you can use it there for uh, true wireless audio uh, ear, uh, uh, earpieces, and for headset, for your necklace, and even for your smartware, and even for your smartwatch, you can use this uh, Kirin A1 chips. <laughs> Today, I bring a new product which is using this Kirin A1 chips. I show you that it's in my pocket. I have two. I bring two color <laughs> yeah, selection. And uh, this, this is a, uh, is a, this is a free bus three. <laughs> so this front and uh, this back front, you can see this. It's a very, very, very innovative product. It's the best performing uh, the true wireless uh, earpieces in the world. I, uh, oh, she bought an auto lot. Who take it away? Okay, this, you can see. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's uh, really, really the uh, tiny size and uh, <coughs> and uh, this uh, free bus three, uh, you have the aesthetic design and the intelligent noise cancellation, that's very unique, very di big difference with others. And also, ultimate performance we can bring. Mm. So let first look at our design. You know, this design of this, we are pure symmetric aesthetic design. It's a very uh, simple, but a very symbolic. And also, it's uh, uh, open fit uh, uh, earbuds. You can see the open feed earbuds and uh, with uh, ergonomic uh, curvature. So you can see the very comfortable fit in your ears. Mm. And also with uh, the 
design of this uh, of this shape, you can we are using the we call it the dolphin vocal cavity. It's so fit in your ear, very comfortable, but also have the best sound, best sound quality. It's a very very unique design. <laughs> and also, you know, this is uh, the pure design and also uh, high glossy. And uh, you know, this design of this shape is uh, very unique. It's like a pebble uh, in your hand. In your hand, it's a very comfortable in your hand, but all very light. Uh, so it's a symbolic uh, design. And also, this uh, more important, this bring you intelligence noise cancellation. You know that uh, today we are living in a world with a lot of noise. Uh, in the railway and uh, in, uh, in the subway, in the public area, a lot of noise. Uh, in the airplane and also you know, when you're traveling, when you're listening to music, a lot of noise. Is that very really a headache things? But how can we make to you to listening uh, to make a phone call quietly? Uh, you can. We want to live in a quiet world. So with this one, have the noise cancellation. This is the world's first uh, open fit earpieces, which have active noise cancellation. You know that if you do the active noise cancellation on any earpieces, it's easy to do. But the open fit is very difficult to do the noise cancellation. But we achieve this. You know that uh, with our adaptive noise cancellation, you can tune in to, to check to the different, uh, uh, you know, uh, different people have different uh, size uh, on a different shape of your ear and uh, candle, uh, mm, candles. So that by the change to uh, the best uh, for, you, for your ears, you can achieve the up to 15 dB the noise, ambient noise reduction. Mm. And also we have, not only we have the downlink, the noise cancellation, but uh, we also have uh, leading uplink noise cancellation. We have three uh, microphone, and, and also we have the bone sensor inside to help to cancellation the your, uh, uplink the noise, not only the downlink noise, the uplink you, when you make a phone call. And more important, uh, more than this, we also have introducing the new architecture, a uh, new design for we call it our patented Aerodynamic micro duct. When the wind is uh, outside, have wind. So in this architecture, we can avoid the wind go to the microphone. So this is a very smart design. Our patent design, our micro duct to defeat the wind and uh, wind when you make a phone call. Especially when you make a phone call outside the wind in your outdoor environment. Or you take a scooter uh, in the Germany and now it's outside, many scooter and a bicycle. They are, uh, when you, uh, you make a phone call during that time, you have less noise. How it works? Let's make a uh, uh, record a uh, video, uh, audio to show you. So when the high speed, when you're outside, the windy, you can see that, you can listen to that. The Welcome to the IFA 2019 in Berlin. You can see that uh, in a windy uh, environment, so the FreeBuds 3 have much better uh, phone, uh, phone call quality. The crystal clear conversation, even on the windy area, on the moving, even when you're driving, uh, taking a bicycle, uh, 20 kilometers per hour, per, uh, kilometer per hour, even high speed. <coughs> and also the FreeBuds 3, you know, Compared with the, the other, uh, the le industry leading AirPods 2, and uh, we have even better performing with our noise cancellation, active noise cancellation, with our anti wind design, and also our bone sensor and uh, micro three microphone for noise cancellation. We're creating a quiet world for you. Mm. And also, this also brings the, the best performance. You can see the inside the architecture design. And uh, we are using a seven millimeter high sensitivity dynamic, uh, dynamic driver with a dedicated base tube inside. So uh, the sound quality is impressive. Uh, when you're listening to music, the bass is basically the bass. <coughs> and also, they achieve a lower, much lower latency. It's working with a Huawei smartphone. You can see the only one, one, uh, 190 millisecond. 
is much lower than all the industry, the others. The Apple is Apple II, uh, they also have very good performance, but we are, our performance is even lower than them. It's so much lower than the others. It's especially for the mobile gaming, the lower latency uh, for the audio is better performing for you play the game. And also it's about much faster speed charging. And uh, while you're charging, we are 100% faster than Apple II. And uh, while, while it's charging, also 50% faster. So happy to charging, the, this is more community. Mm. And also have long battery, uh, long battery, last, long lasting battery. Four hours for just one charge. 20 hours totally in this, uh, this because you have uh, battery inside this <coughs> case. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a Huawei Freebus 3, the best wireless, uh, true wireless audio headset in the world. You have the, the best audio quality, best noise uh, cancellation, and also super fast charging. All the <coughs> you know, today, I also uh, want to bring you some, not only today we are, we are living in a connected world, connecting people, but I, I'd like today to bring you something which is connecting your home. How can you connect your home intelligently? Today, at your home, we are mainly using the, the, the Wi-Fi for the home connection. I bring some solution to show you. But you know, today at home, the, the connection, the biggest issue for the connection of the home is the, uh, the Wi-Fi. If you have a large home, a large, a large house, and uh, the, always uh, to meet the weak Wi-Fi signal area, the problem. And also sometimes you, have, you install, you can install more AP in your at home, but the problem, the more AP that each AP have their SSAD, that means you, you will switch between the AP. That's not convenient, a lot of problem. I know some people that are using the Wi-Fi relay for the improve the coverage in your big house, but that's the real speed, not fast, because the relay will reduce the speed. But our solution is here. This is a Huawei Q2 Pro. We connect it without boundary with a new solution. And uh, how, how about this? This is, a, this is a big one. And you can use the satellite one for uh, better, connect, uh, better coverage. So this is a plug and play. It's a very convenient to use. So I assure you that uh, this, uh, at your home, maybe you, are, you have in your big house, you have multi rooms. If some room you have don't good coverage, you can plug in this there. Any area, just plug in. How can you connect between this? They are using the power line connection, PLC, power line connection. So it's very convenient. Just plug and play. No matter how big your, your, your house, you can always can have the best, connect, best connectivity. But if you are, have the Ethernet cable, you also can connect it here. But you, even you don't have the, in that, that room, have the Ethernet cable, you just the power line. Using a power line connect with, with this. So that's really very convenient. <coughs> and also, between that, using the same ID, same SSID, the same Wi-Fi, it looks like the, the same Wi-Fi. It's aut automatic rooming. Switching the, between, the, uh, between that is only the less than 100 milliseconds. It's very, very, very fast, very convenient. And also, it's very easy to, to add new satellite. You just press this button, then you, you plug in. Then it's automatically, this red light will be becoming uh, green. That means it's connected. So just plug and play. So really, it's a maximum you can support 15 satellites. So that's, uh, no matter how big a house you have, you always have, can have the best coverage, the best performance. It's a plug and play, simple, easy to use. You know that we, we pr are proud of our performance. Our performance, we are using the three line. You can see this. Not only this is the two AC power line, but also you using the, the uh, earth, uh, earth line to for higher speed. By this together, we can support 200 megabit per second uh, speed. The industry, the other level, the only maximum, the only can support 100, uh, 100 megabit. But with these three uh, line together, we can support uh, 200, over 200 megabit per second. 
This is really, really a super, much faster speed. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Wi Fi, uh, Huawei Wi Fi Q2. It connects with our boundary. You know, that's uh, we start to ship this uh, in, in Europe. We already shipped this in China. It's received very good consumer feedback. Now we bring this innovative product to European market, <coughs> to global market. <coughs> Thank you. A phone? Uh, can you bring to me? Okay. Okay. You know, that's. Uh, uh, in the spring of this year, in Paris, we launched the Huawei P30 series, uh, series smartphone. It's becoming the most popular P series ever. And uh, for just the six months, half a year, globally, we sold out uh, over 16 million, 16 and a half million P30 series smartphone globally. We achieved 53% growth. You know that we win a lot of the best smartphone award. We, we win over hundred, uh, several hundred uh, best smartphone awards globally. So that's including the best uh, European, uh, uh, best e by ASA, the best European smartphone, best smartphone, and also by the TIPA as the best uh, smartphone camera, and uh, a lot of awards globally. You know that we, this P30 uh, series smartphone, we set the industry the new benchmark for smartphone photography and uh, performance. <coughs> And you know, the phone's design, you, you remember that uh, the, our aesthetic design, our conical design. And also we bring the very unique gradient colors on the phones, on the P30 series. It's an amazing color. Uh, it's, it's received very good consumer uh, feedback globally. And also, this phone also set the new form and the new color trend if, for this industry. I give you an example to show you why it's like that. For example, that's uh, when we launch this product, the industry, the other phones like this. But now, you can see, they change it. <laughs> they change it to the <laughs> to new one. So we're leading the industry chain, OK? <coughs> so we're leading the industry's uh, design the chain of, 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 of flagship phones, OK? <laughs> you know, today, I, I want to bring a new P30 Pro. Let's see. Our design concept. <laughs> Our design inspired by nature. The sea, the sky, and the sea, you can see the infinity duality. There yeah, is look together. So that today, I bring uh, our new phone, new P30 Pro. This is a very unique design. You see that. Uh, this is back uh, side. Uh, okay, and the inside I show you uh, the front. So the so the inside outside uh, is matched together. All this design. Uh, <laughs> you know that's uh, uh, this color is uh, mystic blue. You know that's it's like the. Uh, Evening uh, of the sea, you can see the sky and the sea, and it's uh, it's very unique. Okay, <laughs> and also we bring the themes to match with inside outside. Okay, <clears throat> and this is a uh, misty lavender. <clears throat> the misty lavender, uh, this color, uh, is all unique. So uh, this this one. <clears throat> And also, you can see that the inside of this, uh, this one also match with uh, the outside. You can see that. <coughs> and also, we are, the technology for this is very interesting. Uh, for this, we are using this glossy. Uh, it's, uh, it shows the beauty of the, this uh, camera, and this is the front part. But also, the here uh, is matte. 
you can see no fingerprint on it at all. No fingerprint on this mat. So your hand held it, it's comfortable. And, uh, not s uh, slippery, uh, sleepy. Mm. But also, and, but more comfortable to hold, but also is uh, most beautiful. So this is this. Mm. You know, that's uh, our P30 series phone that are leading the mobile photography. And uh, on this phone, we have the industry uh, first uh, uh, sensor we're using RYYB, the red, uh, yellow, yellow, blue, uh, that sensor. It's a very unique sensor, which, uh, uh, which can increase the 40 percent more in light, uh, more light intake. But more importantly, we are using the industry, the largest uh, sensor, the 125 times larger than the others, even than the, the other phones, the latest phones. Latest Note, uh, Note 10 Plus, our sensor is also much bigger, 125 times bigger than them. But together with the RYB, these two technologies together, and also with the ultra large uh, and, uh, aperture of this lens, lens together, so we can achieve the, the industry leading ISO over, over 400,000 ISO. Mm. So that's uh, the industry is. Uh, Really amazing, uh, I saw for low light quality, is the best. So, <clears throat> you know, the, I show you that uh, the comparison of this photography, even up to today, that the new, new phones, half a year later, the new phones, the single shot, the low light condition, you can see the, the photo capability. We still the best performing smartphone, uh, the camera, uh, best camera. Even the long exposure in the desert, you can see that compared with the other phone, you can see that. They have some, they improve a lot, uh, a little bit, but it's, uh, still have big gap with, uh, with, uh, with us, right? <coughs> uh, this beautiful photo is uh, taken by Huawei, our global uh, P, uh, Euros, uh, P30 series owners. You can see that so beautiful photo uh, taken by. All those photos are taken by our global uh, P30 series users. You know, this phone has the industry uh, leading periscope lens, which can maximum support 50 times uh, digital room, uh, optical room five times, hybrid room 10 times, and a digital room 50 times. You will see that uh, the comparison uh, uh, with other uh, 10 times room in low light, you can see that the detail, so good quality, you enlarge that for far away, for, for 10 times, you can see that. <clears throat> and also the, the photo is taken also by the, the consumer, six times, five times the room by the, by the P30 owners globally. <clears throat> and all this, you can see from, take the bird, the photo from far away, 10 times, uh, and, uh, the animal, you can see that. <coughs> How good quality. And also, this time that we are also using our new software to upgrade the P30 series smartphone uh, to the new color system to make it uh, more vivid color to on this uh, P30 uh, series. And the new P30 Pro and all the existing P30 all make, we will upgrade, upgrade the, the photography technology by software. Mm. Also bring you your super nice selfie. With the AI processor, you can, the background processing, you can see that the segment of the, the, the girl with the background, you take a selfie, you can take a very clear photo, no matter the front, but also back. You will see that this phone, they also can take a, uh, the photo is okay, but the background is blurred, the detail, lost the detail. If you see that one, on the rooftop, you can see that the detail all very clear. Even the character, you can see the, this girl's the background of the character all very clear. You can see the, this our AI processing on the camera technology. We can make it both it's very good quality. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <clears throat> and this phone. The running the EMUI 10 will upgrade this phone, P30 series, to EMUI 10, which is about Android 10, the latest Android 10. So what's Android 10? I have a video to show you. Uh, <clears throat>
sure you can see that from this video that uh, we are we use a new UX design, UI design uh, by the, you know, including the magazine layout, including the new color, the Morandi color, and uh, some very, very, very interesting uh, things. And also we improve the, uh, the UI uh, to make the fluently operation interaction, uh, interaction between the consumers. And also we're introducing the, the dark mode to cover more scenario. The dark mode is not, not only pro, pro, uh, protect your eyes, to make your eyes more comfortable, you see the screen, but um, much lower power consumption for the phones because uh, this phone, the P30 series, we are using the OLED display. OLED display in the display, the, the, the dark, uh, much lower power consumption, lower and make your phones better life longer. So it's with this dark mode. <coughs> so this dark mode can cover more scenario. And also we, uh, we have very uh, innovative uh, design. It's, it's unbelievable design. You, you, you make your P30, phones closer to your MateBook PC, then your phone can go inside your PC, looks like that. You can operate your phones in your PC. That's unbelievable. <laughs> you can use the keyboard of the uh, uh, PC for input, and uh, all the phones, it looks like your phone went into your PC, your screen, and your camera, and your keyboard, and all the operation. You can operate your phones in the PC, the, the, the right, the screen, it's your, P, uh, your phone screen. Even you can you're into working, you can, your phone, uh, your PC's apps, you can draw your, your apps from here to there. You draw, you draw a photo from here to there, uh, to your, it's very convenient in working. So it's a, uh, your, it's a very uh, unique design, very uh, innovative design. So make the intellig intelligent cross-platform interaction. That we are the only one to invent this idea. No other can do that. So it's very, very unique. You can, uh, you can try this experience. It's a really bring uh, a lot more convenience for you. When I uh, using the phones, uh, I can use the big screen for the, for the, the PC screen, PC to, for this operation of this phone. <coughs> so this uh, in the working as uh, bring much more efficiency um, to everyone. <coughs> you know, on Android 10, and uh, they have the, also have the gesture, but we were asked about over one year ago, from last year, May 20, we were asked about the gesture. Uh, but uh, uh, recently, the Android 10, they also introduced this, but we already support this, uh, so there's no, no use. So we, we have a lot of enhanced function, uh, functionality uh, to improvement on the EMUI 10. Please experience it <coughs> by yourself. And also, you know, on the P30 series, we have five color for your selection, together with these two new color. So totally, we have five color for your selection. Mm. And the, Android, the EMUI 10 running uh, with all Android 10 will have better access from this month. So large volume, uh, large, uh, more uh, the global subscribers can use maybe from the, uh, November, maybe. But the better time, uh, better access maybe from this month. So this new color, uh, the new P30 Pro will be available from 20th of this, uh, this month. <coughs> this is our P new P30 Pro. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your coming. And uh, this is a product today we launched.